welcome back to another video here in the channel today uh i'm going to address a topic all right i'm going to address a topic and this topic is about deandre hopkins and whether or not we should still bring him back despite all the wide receiver additions uh into the room in, in this off season so uh, I'm, I'm gonna try having more videos like this in in the near future probably I'm probably gonna have a video about JK Dobbins coming soon as well uh, about his situation and Maybe about Marcus Peters uh, Later on so I, I so I, I have things planned So if you're new here subscribe click the like button comment down below your thoughts and uh, Yeah Let's get right into it. So, DeAndre Hopkins was recently made a, a free agent. And he was pretty much a... He, he was involved in a lot of trade talks this offseason. And even before this offseason, he was involved in them. So, you know, the Ravens this offseason has signed Nelson Aguilar uh, and Odell Beck Beckham Jr., and drafted Zay Flowers in the first round a few months, like a month ago or two, two months ago. So we got three new weapons into uh, into the mix right here for Lamar. It's it's by far the best group we've had in a very very long time, probably since 2012. And this is the best group of weapons we've had for Lamar. In Lamar's career in the Lamar era so we pretty much have uh, OBJ Bateman Duvernay Zay Aguilar and that uh, and then we're gonna have some guys battling for last spot uh, Laquan Treadwell uh, James Prochet Tylen Wallace Shamar Bridges uh, Tariq Black, uh, Dante Demas as well. So it, it's going to be a battle. So about DeAndre Hopkins, uh, I'm just going to stand. I still stand on that. I, I stood on it for, for a while here. Uh, we should still bring him, in, bring him in. We should still bring him in. And basically, again, for us, for a wide receiver core, uh, it, it's it's pretty good. All right, it's pretty good. But there's no guarantee that, that we have Rashad Bateman or Odell Beckham Jr. for a full 17 games. DeAndre Hopkins went on the field. He will not get injured that much. He will not get in, He does not get injured as much as uh, as as Bate and OBJ have, especially recently. Uh, he still got injured two years ago, but that was pretty much it. Uh, but he brings, he's again, he's a top five receiver in the league. And to me, that shouldn't really, really be a debate. Because how the hell are you going to say no to that? Especially when you're, you're pretty much fighting with teams like the Chiefs, the Bills, the Bengals, the Jets, the Dolphins, the Chargers. Who else? The Jags in the AFC. The AFC is looking really, really good. And these teams have decided to stack up. And and they've been doing things we haven't been doing in the past few years. Which was stacking up and being aggressive. And these Ravens are very, very different this offseason. And they've been they haven't only been like just looking at the at, at the position, they've been pretty much attacking it this off season, which is something we haven't seen with with EDC. So, and also, I'm just going to go into that. Uh, in, hold up, uh, I'm going to bring up the counter arguments later. All right, so. First off, DeAndre Hopkins, he's a top five receiver in the league, okay? He's still a top five receiver in the league. He has that jump ball ability, that big play ability. 
it, it pretty much it, it, it adds up another matchup nightmare. You pretty much have DeAndre Hopkins. He's gonna be your your big jump ball guy, the jump ball ability. Uh, he, he can also have run after catch as well uh, if he wants to. And he's that guy where he can make a bad throw work because not every throw is gonna be perfect. He's one of those receivers where if you throw a bad pass, he can he, he can make it into a, a completion still, which is not something we've had with the Ravens almost at all. And these other quarterbacks, they have it. I mean, Josh Allen has Stephon Diggs. Kirk Cousins has, he, he can have the biggest overthrow of all time, and Justin Jefferson can still come out with it. So that's the thing. He brings up that ability. And again, it has insurance into the in, into the receiver core. Because like I said, Bateman and OBJ are not guaranteed to play 17 games. Neither is like Duvernay. Or, 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 nobody's guaranteed to stay healthy, basically. So we, we should get ready. So you ain't got to get ready, man. And again, bro, uh, we do not need to really be nice with anybody. Like, really, with, with everything all these teams have been doing to us, uh, it shouldn't really... Again, bro, uh, there's really no reason to be nice. There's really no reason to be nice to anybody in the AFC, really. Because we've seen these teams stack up. We've seen these teams stack up, really. So, absolutely no reason to stay nice with these teams. Screw you, Bills. Screw you, Chiefs. Either DeAndre Hopkins goes to the NF stays in the NFC, or he comes here in Baltimore. And again, uh, I'm last thing right here with this fan base. I I, I start hearing, oh, it's it's enough. It's this or that. Yet again, with this fan base, every single time there's always suggestion of a defensive player coming to Baltimore. They'll always say yes, but but you never see that energy in the off in, in the offense at all. Never. So I I really don't get it with this fan base. You guys are talking about hey Bateman, he's gonna get mad. Since when did this fan base care about players? This fan base does not never cared about players. So stop with that BS. Like seriously, in this entire offseason, you are going in and saying team before Lamar mentality type of BS. And then now, now that we're trying to stack up against, against other teams, you're going to go, oh, but Bateman is going to feel bad. Shut up. Like, come on. Like... It, it, it. Uh, I have never understood the obsession with defense ever. Like, s please, no, stop. It, it's 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 not. It's never enough. The more you add, the the more you add, the better the the bottom guy in your death chart looks. So it's going to make everybody else much better. Everybody else's job much easier. It's not only for Lamar. It's for other receivers. Opens things up. And it doesn't let anybody get double teamed. It, 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 really not. It doesn't let anybody have... Uh, just try and go and double team Andrews. Or any of that BS. So it opens things up for the offense. And makes everybody's job easier. Not only for Lamar, for every other star on this offense. Even the running backs. So, again, and, in, and with the offense being, being elite, it helps our defense as well. So, I really don't see how you can get mad at the idea. At the idea of bringing in DeAndre Hopkins. To this team. So, EDC, one more. 
One more thing for us, please. Complete it. Just bring in DeAndre Hopkins, please. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Claire Labberton, like I said. And comment down below what you think about the idea of bringing in DeAndre Hopkins. Hopefully, it's yes, bring him in. Because I'm really going to question you if it's not. Because why are you getting mad at adding at the idea of adding stars? It, 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 it's really ridiculous. Come on.